this is subscribe to Curious Mark's channel in Vintage Bits. This is not advancing. All right. Okay. Next problem. We can't. We can't celebrate for a second. So, the my uh, character counter. Try it. Okay. We have one more thing not working, which is this counter here. There's a character counter. But it looks quite straightforward. There's a magnet, so there's two magnets, one here. Should make it advance. Yeah, that works and it's free. And it should be a reset magnet. There you go. One back to zero. Okay. What does that do? This opens up when or this closes when it reaches the end. Okay. So there doesn't seem to be anything mechanically wrong with it. So I looked out, I found the schematic for the thing, and uh, actually one that's a schematic that you can understand, and the other that's a wiring diagram where you can figure out where the parts are. And so here are my magnets. Uh, I figure out what this contact is, it's just going to turn on the lamp when uh, I'm close to uh, the end of the line. Uh, and there seems to be only one contact, where is it, um, in the schematic, right, there's only one contact, 407, cam pulsing contact, and which is over here, and I just have to find out where that is and trace it, make sure the circuit is all closed, and my belief is that it's one of those over here, it's right here, I would suspect are the one that should drive the count. So I'm following my signal from the magnets to uh, where it should get their pulse it. And I get into the switch over here and it's really neat how that works. That's the one that actually controls um, when it's clear. So if I do care return, it will no, get continuity to the clear magnet and then there is another subtlety on the counting one if I can put it back on the right plug it's this one no oh, it's the red one so on the red one that's the one that lets the counting pulses through except if I press fix Figures, that's not counted as a character, so it breaks the circuit. Letters, that's not a character either. And line feed. But bell is going to be counted as a character. No! It's just, no, 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 bell is not. So it's figures, letters, line feeds. Okay, so it looks like my uh, signal is making it all the way, so I bet this is the contact over there that's not working. So I finally traced my signal all the way back there. Uh, if you can here. And I don't know if I had this adjusted properly, but that's the uh, keyboard, keyboard and tape tape only. So keyboard, keyboard and tape tape only. And uh, somehow it only counts if I am in tape only, which I didn't expect. And then I can trace it all back to the, all the way back to the positive side, and the contact is going to close for each character. So if I just launch a, a character here, let me see if I can do that. Okay, got a pulse. So maybe it didn't do it because I didn't have this in the down position, but it seems to me that it should also work in the middle position. We'll figure that one out, but maybe it just works. 
This is keyboard only. This is punch. And this is this is what? This is this is nothing. This is weird. So there is something rotten in my kingdom because if I put it on the keyboard position, I get keyboard. If I put it on keyboard and tape, I get keyboard and tape. And if I put it on tape only, there is no tape at all. I brought out the color crayons to, to do some tracing and Ken was doing the same thing with the Model 15 on the other side because it's just impossible to figure out what's going on. So that's my plus 120 volts. I finally found out there is just two ways to activate the punch either with the cam and there's a contact over here that only works when the keyboard is working or through the punch contact which is a contact over there and somehow when it's on the tape only these, this cam contact gets out of the way and it has to be activated by the other one which is all intriguingly weird so I'm getting suspicious that this contact at the back, the punch contact, which should get activated in the punch only mode, is never getting activated because the bar is not pushing it and then when I moved the bar around it was not connected. Is this fellow right here, somehow it's moving but it's not pushing the cam it should push. So I think they are disconnected. So I reconnected it and now this part moves over there. And it closes the contact over here. So let's see if that's the source of my problem. Okay, that's the back to the mill setting. That's when it used to punch. Okay, now it works again, and now let's look if, if I do this. There you go. There was a mechanical problem. It's counting. Now, if I do carriage return, I should reset. It does. So, now let, at least if I do figures, it shouldn't do anything. That's right. Should I do letters, it shouldn't do anything. Should I do light feed? It shouldn't do anything. Yeah, that's correct. And now this light should come on when I'm work and I'm towards the end. Of there you go. End of line. Woohoo! Then I do change return. Yay! AD characters, can return. It works. How come there are two contacts that make it punch? There is either the punch contact that was at the back and that was the, the lever that was not working. And there's also a cam contact that does the same thing over here. And the reason is, is that when you are on you know, transmit and punch, you are limited in speed by the rotation of this thing, and uh, the punch is activated by the cam. However, when you are doing uh, tape only, you are not limited by the speed of the motor. Actually, the motor can be turned off, and you can type as, as fast as you want. Uh, you're not limited by the 45.5 uh, bars. So I'm looking at the nitty gritty now and I'm s uh, realizing that my machine is missing an entire assembly, the whole filter 
which is a coax cable that leads to an inductance and two capacitors. This is the coax cable, the inductance is supposed to be here, but it's not. Uh, and then no, this was left disconnected. Just look at that. <laughs> so, so, so basically I'm connected straight from here to there. And I think the, f the filter here has been turned around and reused for my other contacts. Well, I don't know, are you somewhere, but it's not there anymore. Okay, so we're going to try to clean up the mess and put a filter made with newer components. Alright. Oops. Alright. So, I took all that out. That was totally unnecessary and added a filter, which is uh, an optional feature apparently because the uh, Bob Erickson machine didn't have it at all. Okay, so that's the line on, line off test switch, so that should be good. Doesn't look too horrible. Okay, so I have one more problem though. And that has to do with the repeat feature that's not working and I think I found out why because it's missing a spring. Let me demonstrate. So this keyboard, which is not short on mechanical trickery, has a spacing feature. Let's see if it works. That is you hold space down it makes several spaces but unfortunately it doesn't work all the time uh, if I put it down in the non keyboard non keyboard mode it gets disabled and then it doesn't come back and the reason it doesn't come back is because I figured out I'm missing a spring and I think I might have found a spring that works. Uh, see if we can reattach it. Attaching springs is always a fun exercise. I think I made it work. Here's my tiny spring and now my lever should spring back as designed. Right now works. Should Okay, doesn't work. Works back. Okay, and that was the last feature. And I think the keyboard is restored. Subscribe to Curious Mark Figures Apostrophe Letters. Excuse marks. Chanel. And by the way, this is the uh, completed punch assembly, so there is actually a little thing that catches the uh, chads, the vintage bits as I call them, and uh, puts them away in a chute. Uh, and there's a nice guide that was a little a knife, so you can actually cut your tape. So you can punch and then you go further, pass the last bits and here you go, you have your nicely cut tape. So it's ready to be put back in the machine and now we can work on the printer uh, which would be even uh, more complicated and clever than this thing which is already quite complicated and clever. For what it is. All right, and over here we have a piece of Carl's printer. That's a that's a carriage, the moving carriage that's going to take a good bath, good bath of simple greens uh, over the night, overnight.